I see internet freedom through my own lens as the foundations for a more participatory culture. And as I've often used the phrase participatory culture before, and if people assumed I meant we are a fully participatory culture, we're not, we're fighting to get there. And so internet freedom is about fighting for those rights necessary to ensure a more democratic and diverse use of media, a world where more people have access to the means of cultural production and circulation. So that may mean net neutrality, it may mean shifting copyright law, it may mean a number of things that fight back against regulatory structures which would silence collective voice in an internet era. Absolutely. What would you say is the biggest threat to uh, uh, internet freedom? Oh, uh, complacency, inevitability, a refusal to actually engage and struggle to get there. And I mean that either on a kind of technological inevitability in which some people think if we just let the internet be, we'll get freedom. And on the other side, a kind of economic inevitability, a critical perspective which often assumes we'll never get there, why bother? And I think in the middle is a space where struggle is possible. And I think being willing to engage in that struggle is the first step toward getting internet freedom. Brilliant. Thank you. UK, uh, the Pirate Party, what do you make of the Pirate Party? Final question. I think it's a fascinating development. Uh, it's hard to tell how much a real impact it has and whether they have a governing philosophy or a specific cause. And I think it would be exciting to see that starting point of piracy emerge as a full philosophy about mm. what government might look like. And is that philosophy purely libertarian or mm. does it have a strong communitarian dimension which allows us to work together toward the common good.